California, the federal building. First leg of the road to the Black Bush Expo. The rally being produced by, I believe, Oxidam uh, and Richard Lee's camps at the first leg of the opening stop. Club Push, check this out. I got the homie Black Jack chilling. I got Token on the camera. It's 420, baby. Just really bad leg spasms and sometimes arm spasms. And I take a toe of cannabis and it's all good. It stops the spasm. We want to stop the race. We actually want to get back into this industrial hemp like it was originally back before it was prohibition. So go to Hemp for Victory 1942 and educate yourself. And We're not going to take it anymore. Celebrating today, and instead we're protesting. Exactly. And we just don't understand it. Why does he hate puffers? I don't get it. Right. right. It's all. I'll see you at the Black Kush Expo in LA, July 1st. Be there. You heard the man. Black Kush Expo, Sunday, July 1st. Me, Big Kush J, the homie Ed Rosenthal. We're going to be there at Black Kush Expo, bringing health and legal cannabis awareness to the urban community. Check us out. Hey, once again, we're still here at the 420 Rally. Big Kush J, I'm here with one of the board of directors of the Black Kush Expo, Miss Dale Sky Jones, Chancellor? Executive Chancellor. Executive Oak Chancellor, University. Oak Sudan University, where I got my degree, okay? That's the degree I claim. Yes, so, my graduate, exactly, alumni. Exactly, exactly. We had a letter that we dropped off at Obama's office. Can you tell us a little bit about what the letter uh, spoke about and what we're trying to communicate to them? Absolutely. Well, on April 2nd, it's a little loud out here in Oakland. That's what happens. On April 2nd, Oaksterdam got attacked by federal agents, and this is all about trying to bring attention not just to save Oaksterdam, not just the university, but safe access for all medical cannabis patients. And this starts with not just education, but getting involved. So today is a national call to action to make sure that we contact the Obama headquarters and tell them how we feel. But it's also to tell them how his policies disproportionately affect communities of color. And it's important to keep the pressure on. So we have to make sure that you show up to the Black Kush Expo on July 1st. I hope to see you there. You heard it. You heard it here first. 
Big Chris J, Dale Sky Jones. Check it out for the 420 Rally. Supporting Oaksterdam. Exactly. I Go to oaksterdamuniversity.com to find out more, both how to save Oaksterdam and how to contact the president. Thank you. Exactly. Hocus Pocus. Hey yo, shout out to my nigga, Big Kush J, nigga. It's that Flacco cat, Jack. Ain't that Rocky? Shout out for the Club Kush, nigga. which is going to be in Los Angeles this July. Please welcome Big J. Cool! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jason Berry. For those of you who do know me, probably know me as DJ Big Kush J. I produce a magazine called Club Kush. When I moved out here, when I started understanding more so about the laws, about marijuana prohibition, and how it's really more so a way to control us as a society and as a culture, I had to do something about it. I couldn't just stand by and just continue to let these things and these laws affect us, especially affect the urban community where I come from. I come from the hood. I'm sure most of you do good too. Sunday, July 1st, like Nagayo and the brother Ed Rosenthal told you, they're participating in this event. Sunday, July 1st, first annual Black Hush Expo taking place in the city of Los Angeles. It's gonna be an all day free event geared to promote medical cannabis, health and legal awareness to the urban community. Go to blackhushexpo.com. You can find me on Twitter, at Black Hush Expo. You can find me all over Facebook. Jason, DJ Big Hush, J. Berry, signing off. Happy 420, everybody.